at my customer site right now. I have my truck running and I'm going to engage the PTO. This one's a little different. This one I have to put it in drive. I have to hit that, put it back in neutral. Okay. And then I'll see my pressure, my pressure, my PTO. So always check to see this, okay? Some of them are eaten and some of them are not eaten. Pump is cooled down enough, all right? 
So what I'm going to do is, for this demonstration, I'm gonna take this guy off, but coil him back a little bit so we can get a few good shots of what's going on here. Set this here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my hose. My low flow dispense hose. I'm gonna take it, and I am going to put it on to our permacil. So, make sure you line it up correctly. Lucky for me, I did. So you want to get it tight, and then go back a turn, okay? Open this valve, okay? You can hear a little pressure, that's normal. There's about five PSI inside that hose. All right. I came here, also my pressure again. I am just still under 100 PSI. So I'm gonna feel comfortable at that at about a 150, which is about in the middle of the pendant as well. So I'm gonna try this. So this is catching prime first time. So as you see my countdown, I'm gonna add my sub cool, okay? Add my sub cool a little bit. I caught prime, right there. Okay, I am going to shut that off. I'm at that. I'm at my pump pressure. I have my go light. I'm gonna hit the start button. Okay, as you see, you got a little pressure here. Just take it now and just tighten that up. You just want to get that hose nice and cold. You don't want any of that warm gas going in there. So as you see, right now I'm at 17 gallons a minute. As everything starts to cool down, that number will start to rise, okay? If I look over here, right now my pressure is still good. It's not rising really bad, it's not dropping, it's just holding right there. So that's good. As you can see on my frequency drive, I'm at 62.8 hertz. Looking fine, my temperature interlock's fine. So on a, on a chart permacil, they have a float where it automatically sh will shut off. So when that happens, and it shuts off like that, you are full. That's just what happened right here. So right now I have a full tank, and it shut off on me right there, okay? So now I'm, I'm done right now. The valve shut off, there's a second valve on these oxygen pumps that just went off. You wanna make sure that that valve closes. So now, I want to take this and I want to close that valve. I'm going to take this, be careful, just kind of loosen that up a little bit like that. Take this off. Put this back on. Put this back in. Okay, that's in now, okay? So now there's a few things still that you can do. Right now, if you're done, I want you to take that, and I want you to close it. So that is, again, that big valve over there, and that will start to close. That valve closed, okay? There will not be any more product going into that temperature interlock, okay? Again, in my demonstration, I will hang this back up. If you didn't know, this does come apart. And you can use it at a site. Okay, that is in there, all right? So now, I got everything. If I need to vent this down, if it is a road relief valve, I can vent it down over here. This does not have a road relief, so I can drive down the road at 50 PSI, all right? But on an external pump, I really strongly encourage you keeping the, the pressure down between 10 to 15, 20 at the most because you need a 10 PSI of subcool. So you can close that right there, okay? If you have to do any service to these pumps, pump seals, pump replacement, stuff like that, there is a valve right here, a V43 vapor return assist. You will have to close that. That should always stay open. Only close that when needing to do work on the pump, all right? 
So I'm good in here. Now I want to print a ticket, right? This particular printer is inside the cab. So what I want to do is I hold the stop button the whole time until I get an E. Once I get an E, I'm going to hold the start button. So that's going to do the totalizer and the gallons right there. You can keep that on, and when you get to the next site, you can shut it down if you want, anytime like that. So what I'm going to do is, when that's done, I'll go over here. When that's done, I'll take this ticket. the release and there we go my delivery of what I have right here so that is that so I give that to the customer okay so I come back here I take that here I printed my stuff up and hold the stop button again to erase it now I'm back in standby or a five. That S or five means standby. So I'm good. You don't have to turn that off. Keep the temperature in lock that will automatically turn on. I can take this, I'm done, that's closed. I close that. I take this, I close my control power off. I take my doors and I'm leaving these sites. Make sure that's nice and tight. inside here. Now on these Eatons, remember, you just hold the brake and do that. On an Allison transmission, on an Allison transmission, you can just hit the PTO button, push the brake in, hold that, and engage. But the Eatons, you need to put it in drive.